Hey what up guys, it's YK Austin. Today I'm going to be doing a full review on Lego The Hobbit on the console and or PC. I'm going to start off by talking about the storyline, move on to other things throughout the actual game. Hopefully I don't miss anything, really hope I don't. I mean, I'm, try to, I'm trying to give you the best and overall just most beast review I possibly can. So let's start off with the storyline. There are 16 missions, each one takes about 15 to 35 minutes to complete. So. In all reality, if you want to get to 100% uh, or just you know beat all 16 of the missions, you do actually have to have a lot of time on your hands, which is why I it took me a couple of weeks to actually beat. But uh, I think it was a pretty good storyline, pretty funny things in it. It's actually the first two movies of The Hobbit into the game. Of course, they added some stuff, and of course, they took some stuff out from the movie. The third movie, which came out recently. I'm sure they were going to be adding it as DLC later on for this game, probably around $15, so probably look look for that maybe sometime this year or, or next year in 2015. It, it should be coming soon though, because the movie just dropped. They are probably working on it uh, as we speak right now, so overall I thought the story was pretty awesome. Each mission you do have to get 10 mini kits, a blueprint, and actually some treasure items so there's four treasure items for each of the missions and I'll explain all that stuff later on so re let's get on to the characters there are 98 of them wide variety of character selection you can pick ranges anywhere from Gandalf to Bilbo to just Saruman just a bunch of people you can also be huge giant orcs uh, to actually go around the free roam area of the world this is actually an MMO game we'll talk about that in a second but there are 98 characters, some things you do need to shoot targets, you need a elf or someone with a bow to actually shoot the target and get farther into the game. Other times you need someone with a blue staff to actually destroy objects such as Gandalf or sometimes you'll need to pull items and you'll need you know that character to, uh, to do it. Some characters do more things than others, some characters do absolutely nothing. It does. It's just It gives you the wide variety of whatever you want to pick. I thought the character selection was really amazing. Uh, at, at some points, it was like I wanted, you know, this and that character, but of course you can't have it. I'll talk about the quests right now, all that kind of stuff. The MMO about the game. It's yeah, this game is basically an MMO, uh, free world. It's a uh, free roam, kind of like a, a what do you call it? A World of Warcraft. There we go. I just forgot the name for a second. It's basically like that. You go around doing quests and white bricks you do get those in there's 250 of them you do get uh like i think like five white bricks for doing various things in the actual missions so multiply 16 times five whatever number you get right there subtract that by 250 and whatever you get from that you actually have to go around doing quests about the the free roam of the world so i thought that was a really cool aspect of it they really changed it from the last lego game i actually well not it's not the last lego game i played but the last Lego game I actually got into, which was Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. I would have to say this is my number one just best played, or just, I don't know, my number one Lego game of all time now. Lego The Star Wars The Complete Saga is probably my second favorite, and that was that's about like seven years ago, or maybe longer than that, when it was on the PlayStation 3 and the 360. So, the quests, some of them are pretty difficult to do, some of them are fairly easy, it's just a matter of how much time you want to put into the game to actually get the 100%, which is pretty difficult to do, actually. You have to do a bunch of things. And those little blueprints I was talking about earlier, you have to take those to a, a blacksmith, and then you make them into an object, and then you take that object to a character around the world, and they will unlock a red brick for you. These red bricks, they will give you powers. Some red bricks will have you... Uh, you know, once you get out the red brick, once you unlock it, you, have, you do have to buy it. The most expensive one I think I bought was like 10 million, which is the times 10 stud. There's times 2 stud, times 4, 6, 8, and 10. Uh, the prices go up as the studs go up as well. You can buy, you know, various red bricks from disguises to invincibility. Uh, you can make your heart, bar, your heart bar look really awesome. It, I think it adds uh, double the health. And so it has like a little silver shield over the hearts. So I thought that was really cool. Just a bunch of different things you can actually do with that. It's, you know, it, it, it does take a lot of time to actually get most of these items in the game. 
And then also the treasure items I was uh, talking about earlier that you get from the storyline. There are four in each of the missions. So 16 times 4, whatever you get. I don't feel like doing the math right now. But those items that you get, you do have to go turn them in for quests later on in the MMO free roam world. So once you do those, you do get you know, you know closer to getting your 100% and also your trophies. Now, I basically talked about everything from you know the storyline, the characters, and the quests. Let's talk about the trophies right now for the diehard trophy hunters out there. I know I am one as well. This is why I, got, I did get platinum. I did get platinum in this game. It's really difficult to get, honestly. If you're going for platinum in this game and you don't have the game yet, or if you're going to be getting it soon, I gotta warn you, you do need a bunch of time in this game. It's it's it takes a long time, honestly. I bought this game maybe three or four weeks ago, and I'm just now beating it. Maybe you know a few days ago, with everything 100%, all the trophies, platinum. You know all that all that stuff, and I thought that some of the trophies were fairly easy to get. Each time you complete one of the missions in the story mode of the 16, you'll get a trophy. So there are 16 these are the ones you can get right there. Others you could just do various things. Uh, most of them are easy, but of course some of them you do have to put more time into as others. And the platinum, I think the percentage rate is about 3.2 on the PS4, but I bet you it's around uh, maybe seven to nine percent overall completion rate on the PS3, the P PS4, the Xbox One, the Xbox 360, and the PC. So among all those, I, I, the, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm really stumbling across my words right now, I'm just trying to get this out there. The completion rate is maybe about 9%, maybe 10%, and you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's really however you want to play this game. I thought this was a really great game, I would have to rate it an 8.5 out of 10. Really amazing game, probably one of my best uh, LEGO games of all time. And of course, LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga comes in a close second. That's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the, the game. Hopefully the, um, uh, I said game, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the commentary and the game. If you guys do end up getting it, I really just can't stress it enough. You should try this game out. I don't think they have a demo right now, but you could just go buy 60 bucks. You know, of course, I, I know that's a lot of money, but... Just buy pre-owned if you want. You know, try it out. If you don't like it, you can always return it in in, in, a, in under a week if you bought it at GameStop or wherever you bought it. I don't know their policies, but I really think you guys should give this game a chance. Comment down below if you enjoyed the video. I know I stumbled across some of my words right here a few times actually at the end of the video. I'm really sorry about that. And yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoy the v review, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.